Today we're going to be learning on how to get realistic camera shakes just like this. What's up you guys, this is GTA today, and today I'm back with another tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how I do realistic camera movements. A subscriber actually requested for this tutorial, so this tutorial is going to be actually going to be fairly quick. I sort of how to get more realistic movements, sort of like with walking, because it's a very easy way on how I do it. I simply just go to camera, go to free camera, and go to edit, and you can have it move wherever he wants. I'm probably going to have it, like, if I follow like, right here. And I'm going to let my character walk, and then I'm just going to drop another marker over here. Go to camera and go to edit camera. And I'm probably just going to push it forward just a tiny bit, and then drop another marker. Then push it forward just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to go back. Add blend mode, make sure it's on smooth. And I'm probably going to drop another marker right here to make sure it's extra smooth. Because sometimes when you don't drop a marker right here, it'll go like, it'll move pretty fast. So I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to slow it down. Alright, so so far we have the walking. Let me remove this blend mode real quick. Then I'm just gonna let him walk again, drop it again, and then drop another marker, and then we'll move forward and drop another marker. Actually, I'm probably gonna go back and then probably switch camera angles, but I'll show you guys on how I'm gonna do that in a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back and go to blend mode and go to smooth, 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 and let's see how this looks so far. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm just gonna go to this marker right here and go to camera, then go to shake, and I'm probably gonna turn on to air turbulence. And you can turn it to whatever you want. I'm probably going to change it to at least 7, then probably just turn it down. It probably won't see much of a difference, so you're probably going to have to turn that up. But anyways, as you can see, we're starting to have it move now. So we're just going to go over here and do the same thing to these markers. I'm going to go to, where's it at? Or air turbulence and turn it up to probably about 9, and then slow down to about 50. Same thing for this one. Go over here, about 9, you know, that's 8, 9, and probably about 50. And let's see how it looks so far. I see we have a sort of a small shake going on here. If you guys are wondering why my graphics look so terrible right now, it's because I have it on the lowest settings. Right now, that's usually how I play, and then for videos, I just crank it up all the way. But this is for tutorial purposes, so. And we're going to turn it back to about 50, and now I'm going to ch uh, change the scene. I'm probably going to drop this marker. Make sure this marker is on blend mode as well. And drop this marker with nothing, then drop another marker. Then you're going to change your camera angle. So I'm probably going to change it to, like, right here. By the way, I have stage mode uh, Franklin eyes. So I'm probably going to have it go to probably, like, right here. And then make sure your camera is going to be ahead of the character. I'm going to go ahead and drop another marker, move it up ahead. Go ahead, drop another marker. Go ahead and drop another marker. Now this, uh, this is actually optional. So I'm probably going to turn on depth of field because I, I don't know, I feel like I like that. Target, I'm probably going to set it to player. Again, make sure this is all on player. It's the same thing. Player and player right here. So now what I'm going to do is going to do the same thing I did for the other ones. Go to shake, go to air turbulence and turn it up to about 9 and turn it up to 50. Same thing for this one. You guys did the same thing for this one. Go to 9, probably about 50 and go to air turbulence about 9 and 50. I'll see how it looks so far. I forgot to turn on blend mode. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. Make sure you turn on blend mode because I always sometimes forget that. And that's pretty much on how I do it, you guys. You also could achieve this with linear, but it's it's going to shake way more. But for usually often with smooth and you try doing this, it really won't appear unless you really crank up the settings. So that's pretty much sort of my secret on how I do it. It's not really a secret, but just sort of like my own tip I can give you guys. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and please share with you guys as friends if you guys thought this video was useful. And also, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Man, it always, help, it always helps to show you guys support. And please put down in the comments below what more tutorials you guys want. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all later.